Hey guys, this is Bruce Marshall from Simpler Trading with the nightly market update video for Wednesday, February the 27th. And you guys know I like to start on the S&P and uh, we'll go from there. So today we had, I've got a one day chart up here. Let me zoom this out a little bit. Um, well, let me do it this way. So today we had a pretty... I don't know, it's kind of kind of weird. Uh, yesterday into the close, everything was going along fine, and then we really kind of failed into the close, and then overnight we went down lower in the in the ES overnight, and then we had a little bounce this morning, and then we just, you know, straight down. Uh, so we got all the way down, notice 27.75. Those round numbers are huge magnets, right? So we hit 27.75 there, and at that point, I mean, I'm literally talking to people going, you know, I want to buy this but at this point if this fails then then we're going this way and probably quickly um, so luckily I did buy a little bit but not uh, not enough because I didn't expect this to happen uh, so uh, steadily but check this out so right after that we obviously we hit that low and it held and we bounced and then this is just Steady buying, steady buying, steady buying, steady buying, steady buying, all the way up to here. Um, this is our 12:30 trade, which did not work today. Sometimes it does, sometimes it does not. It actually failed. Um, typically, that will set kind of the tone for the rest of the day, and I suppose it did somewhat. Um, I thought normally it's more like this, but um, but anyway, the point is after this, you know, we touched this low, we started coming right back up. Now, what we are in right now, we know uh, we have, um, you know, Humphrey Hawkins, or it used to be called Humphrey Hawkins testimony, Powell on the Hill testifying before Congress and all that kind of stuff. We've got other Fed speakers uh, tomorrow as well. So a lot of this is news driven and, you know, and tweet driven. We've got uh, Trump and uh, North Korea summit you know talks and all that kind of stuff in china and you see these these long you know this I, I don't know what this specifically was but that's not that's not us individual retailer retail traders you know moving the market uh let's see it's 27.85 down to 70 you know 10 point move in you know one minute that's not retail traders uh but the point is we're in a very news driven tweet driven rumor driven market you know so expect that that's not you know that's to be expected so what do we make of all that and where do we go with all that so let's go back out here to a five day chart i'm going to stick with the s p and again we hit 2813 if you watch my video from last week um that's kind of in between the levels i thought we would hit being um really 2800 to 2820 I'll show you that in just a minute um, but as you can see let's go out a little bit further and we have been in this just rocket ship since the first of the year up to here and now you know this is just two days obviously you know this on the surface looks like a uh, you know maybe a break is this the crack in the ice and all that kind of stuff and if we look back here, of course, we had the same thing, you know, dip down and this, you know, you could have said the same thing here that we were coming back into this fire line. This is 2650 all the way down here. Um, so, you know, and again, you could say the same thing right here. So, uh, you know, it's, it's really hard to tell. Uh, one thing that does look to me, if I look at it, it looks like we're kind of losing momentum a little bit here. Um, and let me show you, it's a little more, get more clarity here on the uh, bigger time frames so this is the one-year chart and as we know we are up off of the low here 2345 and we're we went to 28 13 what is that 460 something points and it's basically been straight up very little even down days and as we were talking about this, let me try to zoom in a little bit closer. Um, in last week's video, I was saying that, of course, 2800 is a huge level. And we're kind of chopping that up right now. These, This is the 2820 level here where we have these 
multiple tries and fail. This will be the fourth time if we come up here and do get that. And then we've got this snow line here at 28.30, 28.29. So we're up into a lot of, there's three pretty major levels of overhead right, right in front of us. So again, I'm looking at this going, um, this to me is a good thing because I think things kind of slow down. Um, we probably, as we were chopping through this 2650, we'll probably chop around this 2800, maybe back and forth, back and forth here for a little while before probably taking a run higher. Um, we, we might pull back, you know, there's a 200 day right there. We could pull back to that level. I'd, we could pull back here we, and we probably should, it would be healthier for the market if we did. But without some kind of catalyst, I don't know if I see that happening or not. Things are positive with the Fed and things are positive with China and all that kind of stuff. So it's just been buy, buy, buy. And I don't like that, but that's what the market is telling us. So we have to, you know, trade the market that we have. And that's what it looks like at this point. Um, so I will continue to kind of trade range bound, you know, and maybe say that range for uh, iron condors and and weekly kind of things that are, that are uh, that you can manage, you know, keep them uh, tightly shown and manage them very closely, uh, because if we have you know some any kind of bad news, tweet or or anything bad comes out, we are in the position to take a pretty good um, drop very quickly just because of the um, length of this move and how much profit's been made and so forth. It can come out very quickly, but again, we need a catalyst for that to happen, and in the short run, I'm I'm not really seeing it. Um, you know, obviously we have to take it day by day. So the same thing really applies across the board with all the market. Uh, you know, the, the indexes, the Russell, the NASDAQ, they look tired. They look weak. looks like we're going to, you know, we're chopping. We, we will probably, you know, if I had to put odds on it, I'd say the chance of going, you know, dramatically higher are, um, 30 percent and then chances of going somewhat lower or you know 70 percent um, and the chance of chop is probably 60 percent you know just um, within these ranges that, that we've just talked about but if you look at any individual stock out there you know you look at Boeing or Salesforce or Amazon or whatever fill in the blank any stock all the charts look the same they look just like this they're all very 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 extended so continue to be careful size small um, the you know, watch watch things closer than you normally do, and um, until we see clarity, until we see some direction or get some indication of, you know, are we going to keep going or is are we going to pause and take a break and retrace a little bit? So that's what I've got for today. Um, I don't really have any specific trade because I just don't see anything that looks amazing to jump into. Um, so with that, let me wind it up here. You guys have a great rest of the day, great trading, and I will see you at the next update.